on the table today at Squirrel Stampede we have the super shiny scaly track and attack Indoraptor Jurassic World Dinosaur and a few other surprises let's jump right into these so yeah just moving the box back and forth a little bit you can see the shine on the Indoraptor it's really quite impressive I don't think I've ever seen the Jurassic World Dinosaur look this shiny. The scaling stands out, that signature yellow gold stripe down the side of the Indoraptor just looks strikingly scary. Of course, we all know the Indoraptor from its appearance in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and also that ill-advised rap special, Indo the Rapping Raptor Show. Indoraptor's on the hunt today. He's got a taste for Mr. Squirrel's dismay. He'll find him wheeling on the hamster wheel and then the chase will start to feel. Oh, oh my, I'm glad that got canceled. Squirrel Stampede! But we sure enjoyed Fallen Kingdom and how freaky this dinosaur was. Track and attack is the theme. Press your finger on back. Menacing. One of the most grossest roars I think of the many Jurassic World dinosaurs. It's just so throaty. Really terrifying. There almost looks to be a button back here like it almost worked an action feature at one time. But really, it's just the hidden scan code compartment, so we'll get to that eventually. Over on the back, oh, that's a great noise. Over on the back of the box. Indoraptor loves to kill Mr. Squirrel on the wheel. He'll take his life, but leave no trace. It's Indoraptor's delight. Where are these Indoraptor rap tracks coming from? Mattel should really implement some Jurassic World Dino Bio cards or something on the back. They're usually pretty basic. We've got an image of the Indoraptor slashing down on what could be a Drysnickonicosaurus, featuring the glowing red eyes and the left arm slashing. And oh, there's some tracking gear included and a couple more of this series. We will be checking in on the Sinotyrannus in a little bit here. But I kind of held off on the Stegosaurus as I already have a couple. This one more in a white and green. Stegosauruses are tricky, they fill up so much space. So, let's see if we can get this Indoraptor popping. Indoraptor's on the prowl tonight, he'll stalk his prey with all his might. He'll watch him wheeling on the hamster wheel, and soon his prey will face his steel. Okay, that song needs to be deleted. Out of the box, the Indoraptor, I feel even more reflective. These scales are so shiny. It's a shimmery blue even. Not just black, but a very deep blue that shimmers out almost light blue in a way. It's just so many different colors. Looking at this, the stripe again full of yellow and gold. And from every angle, something interesting. He's been just a little bit temperamental, but I have found feeding Rusty Claw Machine Grocery Gang characters has helped him calm down a little bit. So yeah, there's really no bad angle for this dinosaur. It is looking terrific. Bringing back the original Fallen World Indoraptor. Yo, yo, my brother's here. Yeah, yeah, that's me, Todd. Now we gonna get Mr. Squirrel in the hamster wheel. We gonna get Mr. Squirrel. In the hamster wheel. You are in on this show too, Todd? Oh gosh, guys, just stop. Which has been released a few different times, I believe, with a couple variations. Also a little bit shiny here, just not as reflectively blue as this one. I think this new one is leveled up. However, this one from before, nice articulation all over on knees and elbows and joints. Just full of things to position this one. But because of that, often kind of wants to lay down flat. I think that's a meatball. Oh, you want one too now. I, I don't know if this one's edible or not. I suppose it was. So a little bit larger with this new Indoraptor. They're both quite stunning. It's kind of fun to have a couple here now. You don't see the Indoraptor coming by the shelves that often, so when it does, I kind of want to jump on it because it is so cool. So run through of articulation again, a little bit less than the previous. There's nothing really on these arms, they're solid, just up at the shoulder, and that's kind of built into the action feature, remember. <laughs> Lifting that up, giving the head snarl. Uh, this one might be, oh, this one is also incorporated. So both arms incorporated into the feature. 
that glowing eye is pretty impressive too. It's just, it's just enough glow to make it almost like real, like if a dinosaur did have glowing eyes, maybe at night, if on a reflection or something. Uh, and then hip rotation here, uh, with the Mattel rotation, usually you can kind of pull out and give them a little bit better stance. There's that speaker hole for some very loud roaring. And tail, you can position here and there. It's pretty limited, it's pretty limited, but I like it because Again, this one had so much articulation here and there, it would love to just kind of crumble over. Okay, this one looks pretty good. This looks like a hot dog. So overall, a very impressive dinosaur. Let's get our facts app out, see if we can do some research there. Our DNA code should be on back, I believe, or tail. I see a couple spots probably on back of tail here. We're gonna lift up here. Okay, our app is now loaded up, so we can give a quick scan. It's already selected. These new scan bars are perfect. We've got the old Jurassic Park interface I see a little bit in there. And there's our Indoraptor. Wow. It's even got its headpiece on there, headgear on for tracking. So it has that looking move finger about to rotate. A lot more purple. A purpley a stripe above the golden stripe. I do not see that on the action figure here. That's interesting. I'm going to have to go back and watch Fallen Kingdom to notice if there's purple in there or not. Everything is so dark it's hard to see. But from all around, pretty impressive. A pretty impressive dino. What do we have for information? Uh, about double the height of a fellow there. Diet of meat, of course. Weight of four pigs. And origins right in the middle of North America. Probably one of those crazy labs uh, where they created and uh dude we've got a truck up here track and challenge you will rescue the indoraptor well we can give it a try haven't done haven't done this one. Oh, this this is a little tricky on camera here but dinosaurs are found all over the world start your adventure and track dinosaurs in the desert mountains shore and jungle uh, click the arrows to steer the truck left and right the toggle allows the truck to accelerate forward or move backwards. And anything else? Tracking badges will help you find the dinosaur, collect more badges to regain energy, follow the path and avoid obstacles, and collect digital trophies when you reach the dinosaur. Are we gonna get anywhere on this? I, I'm worried already. We'll give it a shot and see what we can do here. I've been debating whether or not to buy this truck. Oh, I've already got stuck on a rock. I have been debating whether I should buy this truck. I typically like to buy just the dinosaurs now. The vehicles can kind of fill up space a lot more than the dinosaurs. Well, that's kind of fun. You can get this very truck with a cool figure. I may have to explore for it. Headed through here. Picking up Indo feet. I feel like I'm like driving a car at Disneyland or something. Oh, did I run out of time? I think you have to go a lot faster. So this is an option to track and dino track your Indoraptor. Controls aren't too bad once you get used to it. Wait, wait, there it is. There it is. We got it. We found it. Oh, oh no, I have to do something. Ah, uh, what do I have to do? Uh, there we go. Ah, we trapped it. The Indoraptor is now available in the lab. Do you want to take care of the Indoraptor in the lab? Yeah, let's do that. We've got to, we've got to work on our Raptor a little bit. Okay, so what's going on? We're in this massive lab. We've been here before. Something's wrong with its mouth. It needs to eat. Do Indoraptors eat carrots, meat, or <laughs> shaving cream? I'm gonna go with the meat, and we're gonna slide this over there. All right. Now what do we work on its neck? It's got something wrong with its neck, maybe? Uh, we're looking in closer. There's these little bits of metal, maybe? I think those were metal bits, and they even tell us. The thing is helping us too much. We're gonna, we're gonna help them out, pull these out. Oh, I gotta do the work there. Something Zia would be working on here. Flip that out. Oh, oh. Ah, ah. And. <laughs> oh, come on. My phone wants to pull down the menu. Yeah, we helped it there. Okay, one more. One more problem. 
Ooh, it's got a nasty goo problem. So it's either gonna be this burn cream or this brush. We're just gonna clean off the fungus. Clean off the fungus, and somewhere there might be one more issue. Ooh, kind of in a very sensitive, delicate area under the tail. Most dinosaurs don't like to talk about. Um, and ooh, that's gotta be really painful. So we're gonna put some spray. Some antibacteria, ah! Antibiotic, I can't even say it. Antibacterial. Oops, you ran out of time. Oh no, uh, yeah, replay. How did, how did I run out of time so fast? Uh, let's just fly through this really quick now. Brush. I talk too much. Chicken. At least they change it up a little bit. That was the spray. And, oh, so we have a timer there. I didn't even notice it before. It's so obvious now. And finally, hip. Oh, this is the one that takes the longest. One of those. Come on, come on. <laughs> Up. Oh, I got 44 seconds. I'm all stressed out right now. Not stressed enough about getting eaten by a giant Indoraptor, and we did it, maybe. Oh, there's one more. One more. Oh, shoot, where does it live? I, do, I don't know. Uh, the, the graphics. The graphics, I think, was mountains. I think. Was it mountains? No! Jungle. Yeah, okay, it was jungle. Wouldn't it be everything? I mean, technically, uh, in Fallen Kingdom, they're in the forest at the end there. Congratulations, you just earned a new digital badge. And then there's more levels. We're gonna call it there, but that's quite fun. I love how they included those games into the app now. I like the facts too. I like when they tell you more information, but some of those vet games and the driving was pretty fun. Oh, um, peanut butter. So luckily for the Indoraptor, they designed without a peanut allergy, so he's happy there. Well, that's my wrap. I'm ending it there. I really hope you think it's fair. Mr. Square on the hamster wheel is really quite going to be a big deal. Okay, okay, that's it. No more wraps. So a couple new Hammond collection figures have dropped. We've got one of my favorites, John Raymond Arnold, played by Samuel Jackson. Actually with a 30th anniversary logo. And Robert Muldoon, also a favorite. I think Muldoon got eaten up pretty bad the last time I opened up some dinosaurs. These Hammond Collection figures, kind of upgraded figures over what we've seen before. I think this is the first time I've seen a John Arnold. What's nice about these, if you're nice and gentle with the packaging, you can just repackage and store your figures in these and display away. Okay, there are these two characters out, looking a little bit fearful that they are standing right in front of a very grumpy Indoraptor, but don't worry, I won't let anything happen to you guys. Both of these figures a little more detailed, looking pretty good, Muldoon. Our previous Muldoon figure right here, oh, I can't even remember when I picked this one up, it's been so long. So this one has been out for at least two or three years or so, and you can see some minor details here and there, they've changed. This Muldoon figure with the switchable heads, we can pop off this head. Ah! Sorry for the no warning there, Mr. Arnold, and we can get on a hat headpiece there if you want Muldoon to have a hat. Muldoon also has that signature classic shotgun from the movie. And as for Mr. Arnold here, we've got switchable arms so we can pull off these arms and this lab coat and give him some rolled up sleeves and then a raptor will eventually take this for lunch. Well, he'll leave one arm for Ellie, the other arm probably yum. But very cool to see some more detailed figures and you don't often see figures for the dinosaurs to interact with. Uh oh. Guys, stay very calm. Uh, do you eat batteries? Huh, I suppose he does. And Muldoon has fainted. Surprising, because he is such a hunter. All right, so one more new dinosaur to share for today. It's the Sinotyrannus. Or is it the Sino? I'm gonna say Sino, like Dino, the Sinotyrannus. I really know next to nothing of the Sinotyrannus, meaning Chinese tyrant is a genus of large basal tyrannosauride dinosaur norm from a single incomplete fossil specimen, including a spatial skull from the early Cretaceous something something in China, and was the largest known theropod from the something formation. Huh? So it's pretty interesting and new to me. What I like about this is the interesting crown that it has up on its nose there. It certainly has the head of a Tyrannosaurus rex, 
very Tyrannosaurus Rex-ish with just this added little detail fin up there. Maybe a little bit larger forearms. This is also a Dino Trackers and it has some gear to add on, which reminds me we forgot to add on the gear to the Indoraptor, so we can do that together in just a second. Over here on the back, kind of calling out what it does, has multiple attack features, a tail strike, total chomping action, and gear also that Stegosaurus in the series. So let's remove from package. And we are out. That is a very strange looking dinosaur. It's like a T-Rex, but not. It's like it's younger brother, cousin Fred, Ted, something. Very foresty green with a little bit of that marbling indentation. I know I looked at that past and thought, oh, that looks like damage, like the plastic got crunched, but that's just something they do to make them look a little more textured. I suppose with the plastic so they wouldn't have to paint them. Maybe it's kind of like a, well, maybe it is just a, a brief little splotch of paint, but it kind of looks damaged. And a little bit of red there too, which is striking on both the top of the head crest there, onto the side, and on the tail. It's dipped its tail into uh, Muldoon's blood after he got killed by raptors. Uh, two action features uh, on the back, the main one here, I believe. I'm going to turn the head and open mouth. And this does not have sounds, which I prefer. I prefer no sounds because you don't have to worry about batteries and when you have a big bin of Tyrannosauroids, uh, they, they tend to scream all night long. So this doesn't <laughs> cause that problem. Pretty nice, pretty nice working feature. Uh, Mattel has really streamlined these features to work very flawlessly. Other side, this is probably tail. Yeah, so we got a tail whip action. And the harder you jam down on that, the harder the tail jams down. So pretty nice there. Now we gotta find the secret code. Where's the secret code? Wouldn't it have been funny if they hid it under the frill? Probably impossible because the mouth in there, um, that would have been tricky. But I think I see it now, it's up on these horns. There it is. All right then, opening up our Jurassic World app again and giving this a scan. Right away, it just catches it so cleanly. And there we go. It's like he's wearing headphones. Or she, he or she, she's got this awesome headphone suit. Meet the Dino Borg, wearing all this gear. I don't even know what those are. They're like pressurized uh, fire hydrant shooters. What, what are those supposed to be? I don't know, but they're pretty funny. Something to help her track. Oh my goodness. From all around, so remember, we are in the forest. This isn't the swamp. This is what I always, I always forget to go, oh, what, where are they from? Uh, what do we got? Uh, about the same about the same as an Indoraptor, maybe just a little bit larger. Uh, yeah, because we're, we're now weighing two cows, and the Indoraptor was four pigs. How that equals out, I don't know. It's pretty similar. And we certainly are in the China region where it was found diet of meat so we've got that pretty good so to take this girl to the vet we're going to have to probably do the same things I wonder don't worry about that I think we have to do the truck I think we have to track it first just like we did our Indoraptor so we'll skip through this now that we we know the basics we're in the desert this time all right dun 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 Oh I almost missed one, I missed one. How many points do I lose for that? Oh and there there is our Sino Tyrannus! Well, yeah, we got it, and then the last thing, gotta catch it. Gotta catch it. So, let's take her to the lab. The Sino Tyrannus is now available in the lab. Before, we didn't have to track. They were already in the lab, if I remember. Okay, so we got 50 seconds here. Start at the nose. They eat meat. Start on the, the shoulder next. Uh, we've got some gloop, so we're gonna brush that off. All right, we're on our way. We're on our helpful way. This is probably going to be the spikes. Yep, just a couple. A couple pieces of ice. I don't know what those are exactly. Metal from trying to escape. Maybe tooth teeth from other dinosaurs. Kind of hard to say. And over here, 
in that delicate under the tail region where it's very embarrassing to talk about some spray. Okay. And one final check, and I'm pretty sure mountain, that's the trees. Oh, we gotta slide that in. Oh no! No, we were in we found it in the desert. Okay. No! This is this is embarrassing. Jungle? Okay, found it in the jungle. That's the jungle? It looked like the forest. Well, anyway, congratulations, you earned a digital badge and you can play another another mission. So pretty good, pretty good, except for that uh, biome, biome debacle. Okay, so next up, we've got to discover what to place on. There's some dino tracking gear for both dinosaurs. Okay, let's add the tracking gear. I think these are actually, they're not canisters of like fire hydrant suppression, they're just flashlights. I think those are just big lights to place on the head. And there's a strap that I think goes under and then this back piece just fits nicely there. I'm not gonna worry too much about this strap coming together. I'll just kind of lightly, oh, that just lightly placed it in. Kind of like a horse where you put the blinders on and that way you can control your dinosaur a little more. Uh, now that Muldoon is feeling a little better, uh, we can place him up on top. Kind of squish his legs in between some of these wiring maybe. And he can kind of guide the Sinotyrannosaurus, Sinotyrannosaurus around tracking other dinosaurs. And as for the Indoraptor, we had almost forgot its mask. These masks are a little more fun than what we saw last year with the uh, cage pieces. So get that on there. Another kind of probably like a flashlight or that laser thing that the Indoraptor would like lock onto and target. Yeah, that's smart. Give the laser to the Indoraptor. That way it doesn't need you to target something. It just goes, oh, I'm gonna target that and then attack it. And then he's gonna go, oh, I'm gonna attack that over there. And he's gonna go that way and then Poor, what's his name is gonna fall off. Not too smart, but kind of fun little accessory items that are not overly done this time. They're simple, you don't have to use them, they're just kind of little added extra fun. And now's probably a good moment to continue my hunt for oddly satisfying Sensory FX ASMR Snap Dot Octopuses. Uh, this is my fourth try here. So far we've started the collection with, I believe, it was yellow, then we found pink heart, then we found red, and now we're going to try one more time. This might be super special, guys. I'm seeing sparkle. What? What is this? Oh, this is cool. What? Found the sparkly purple? Looking at our guide, it's the rare! We found the rare ASMR uh, Mr. Snap Dot Octopus. Oh, that's cool, and, it, and I didn't know it would be sparkle. You could barely detect the sparkles there. So, finally found one of the best. Uh, let's see if we can get out. Now, remember what I told you last time, do not pull these straight out. The print on its face will rub against the plastic, so be very careful to push in. Get that print away from the plastic package. And I'll see if I can pull here. You could really damage the graphic, and we did it successfully. So this is an octopioid that hangs out in the lagoon with probably the Mosasaurus. It actually almost looks lifelike with the sparkle on there. Oh, it is so fun. And of course, so soothing. I don't know what happened to Pinky. Pinky disappeared. Pinky wandered off on me, but I've got yellow who is really scuffed up. We overplayed with yellow, but red here is looking nice and shiny still. So. These three are gonna be best of friends until they can find Pinky. We really need to find Pinky now. And how did I time that? Look how close the scaly, sparkly skin of the Indoraptor is to the scaly, sparkly skin of the Sensory FX Octopus. Hey, whoa, whoa there, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, stop it, whoa. And that's the Indoraptor and the Sino Dino. Interesting new dinos for Jurassic World. If you like today's video, please give us a squeak, a squirrel eye, and a squirmant, or even draw and send in a picture of a squirrel on top of a Sino Dino Tyrannosaurus Indo, and we will give that a showing. Thanks so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that. Indoraptor's on the hunt today. He's got a taste for Mr. Squirrel's dismay. He'll find him wheeling on the hamster wheel, and then the chase will start to feel.